y'all it's hope here at crafty hope um i don't know if i've done a, a thrifty thursday intro yet or not so if i have not welcome uh it is thrifty thursday or however you want to approach this it's a haul video where i show you some of the thrifted and discount items i have found whether from it's a thrift store or a gift or a free bin or something off the street that i've just found um it's thrifty because it is at a reduced price so let me start with um goodwill i was getting some shirts there i'm not going to share that with y'all but in the display case there i saw this classic games um compendium here which first off is in this fabulous box um that has this little plastic that slides off and granted it's not a complete set um for some reason there's a ribbon here but there's like you know a little collection of mini dominoes um, I'm sure that's not all of them there's a jacks set so a couple of balls and some jacks pieces then there are these like old-fashioned pickup sticks that are wood so these are lovely and a multitude of colors and then a bunch of marbles um, so the big, I don't know, were these the shooters? And then the little marbles for playing marbles. And it's it's neat. Um, I can use all, well, maybe not these, but all of these other components in other ways. And the box itself is awesome. And it was, where did I just put the little top to it? Oh my gosh, it has disappeared. <laughs> I put it underneath it. Oh my gosh, y'all. It was $2.99 for that, which I thought was, was a good deal. Um, then at my library, at the entrance, they always have a free bookshelf, which is books they've either discontinued or have been donated that they can't use for any reason. So I picked up a couple. Um, I've tried not to pick up too many books because I have too many books, but sometimes there are ones like the Trigger Match <laughs> Tables one that I just have to have. And this one I had to have, y'all. It says magic. <laughs> And it is. It is a match. It's a book. And apparently it was at a library of some kind because it does have a pocket on it. Um, I'm trying to see if it has a year on it. 1942. So, um, it is a, a magic book from the 40s. How cool is that? And then this one, y'all. First off, it is tiny. Um, and as soon as I saw it, because they do it like this, and I could see the floral design on it like this, I grabbed it. I was like, I don't even care what's in it or <laughs> what it is. Um, and it has these, like, seriously old-style pages, little, um, like, lithograph pictures, and I don't know what you call that. Um, all of the, it's just, it's a beautiful little book. Um, that... <sighs> I'm not great with my Roman numerals, so I can't, actually I thought there were Roman numerals in here that told me what the date on this was, but maybe, maybe there's not. Um, but I, yeah, this one I cannot get a feel on. See, it just starts here, and if I look in the back, come on. I don't think there was anything in the back either so I don't know how old this is um, so I may have to go look it up it is just a beautiful little book for free okay so the other thing I want to show you is I saw on Instagram that a bunch of the Tim Holtz stuff was gonna be on sale at Hobby Lobby somebody had seen it at theirs I have been kind of stalking ours for about well maybe only four or five days because somebody posted it and I couldn't get out to Hobby Lobby for like two days and it definitely hadn't been on sale and so I'm you know it was like I'm gonna give them the weekend because they're closed on Sunday I, I wouldn't expect that they would price it down on Saturday and so I waited today I'm filming this on a Tuesday and I think they must have just marked it down because I don't think anybody else had gotten to it yet <laughs> so let me show you what I got I got a lot of stuff so um oh i did get two non tim holtz items um because they also had a bunch of their stamps on sale the inka dinka do and um whatever this is and anyway so i got this one which is a texture stamp I, I don't know what i'll use it for it's for greeting cards obviously it's an a2 card size um it was a dollar 37 regularly 550 
And then this one, y'all. If you know me, you know there was no way I was walking out of there without this mushroom stamp. It was $1.87. So, I, yeah, these were the only two Tim Holtz things I didn't get. All right. So, let me show you what I did get. I got two of the Distress Oxide packs that um, were $2.37 each. So, six of them. Um, this one has the speckled egg, rustic wilderness, seedless preserves, antique linen, um, something twigs, and hickory smoke. I might have the seedless preserves one in the larger bottle, but that's it. The rest of these I do not have. So, super excited about those because I love the distress oxide. So, they also had some of the ink pads on sale. So, I picked up a few of those and got Stormy Sky speckled egg and crackling campfire so lovely lovely um and those were a dollar 49 each then let's see what else oh the the distress ink sets were on sale i got it for 274 i just got the one with like this is the antique linen vintage photo walnut stain and black so it, because those are colors I know I use all the time when it comes to the ink. They had all the others of these on sale, but I've got tons of the Distress inks and I hardly ever use them. So I didn't, I left those for somebody else. Um, I also had a couple of the alcohol ink mixatives, alcohol ink, the pearlized ones, and one of the big sets of alcohol inks on sale and clearance. So, and I didn't get any of those either because I have enough of the alcohol inks. <laughs> so I also did pick up, they had the the mediums on, on clearance. I believe they had the crackle and the texture paste as well. I just got the collage medium. They were $1.74 each for the um, three ounces. So, I've been wanting to try it. Um, I've seen other people use it and really like it. So I figured at $1.74, I really couldn't pass that by. It'd be good for like travel sizes and things like that. So, um, what else? I was having a hard time. There was so much stuff that was on clearance that it was kind of like, and I was trying to be thoughtful that, you know, will I use this? Will I regret not getting this? Those kind of things. So, um, Anyway, here I got this, which is a paper dolls, but it's not the regular paper dolls. I wanted to see if it was, like, had a certain name. Portraits. Yes, these are the paper dolls portraits, so they're just like the busts of paper dolls. So, and I'm really happy with that. That's something I will definitely use. Um, I kind of have been wanting these, which are, it's this ephemera, but of course they always cover up the little top portion here. <laughs> this is hmm this is the numbers number strips so it's just lots of little numbers if you know I do like numbers um on things and I thought these would be kind of fun just to lay in collage so there's that also on that same vein I got these um gauge dials so it's a bunch of just like round gauges I thought was super cool I got um, these flashcards. Do they have another name? No. These are just flashcards in a bunch of different sizes. And um, I thought these would be really neat to use. I don't know if they're, yeah, they're double sided. So that's kind of awesome. And they're double sided. Oh, let's see. I haven't told you. These I got for $1.62, $1.12, $1.12, and $1.62. I picked up because I do love my assemblage. Oh, that bottom's broken. Be careful with that. Um, I do love assemblage. I got one of these sets of display domes for two twelve. dollars um, I think I got some of these in smaller sizes at Tuesday morning what before they closed. I got both of these <laughs> vignette boxes that they had there. I, um, they were $2.37 for this set again because I do and they only had two of them and I love squares and these are square so I grabbed both of them let's see there was 
this is one of the backdrops 212 for it so it's a bunch of different papers basically I'm trying to remember I think these are double-sided also so yeah there so it's long papers which are great more paper because that's what I need <laughs> I got two of these gauge frames since I did get those, um, where did, these, I think these fit inside of these, so, and I think I just now realized that, I didn't realize that when I grabbed it, because <laughs> I was just like, this would be neat in an assemblage, um, but these will fit in here, so all the better. This was $1.49. And then the last thing I grabbed, just, I didn't even see it until the last minute, were these word plaques. They had a bunch of these too. I just grabbed one because I can't imagine that I would use more than this little set of four. I got them for $1.24 and they are super awesome. So y'all, I racked up at Hobby Lobby today. I'm super happy. I might hit, um, one of the other ones another town I ever but I can't imagine that they're gonna have something else that I want <laughs> so um I guess I can find out maybe they had because there were a couple of colors missing from the distressed oxide display so they might have some of those um available but I don't really need more of them but <sighs> it was a deal all right, guys, I am hoping to go to an estate sale this weekend. Maybe, maybe. I don't really need to spend any more money, but we'll see. I, I can't help myself when it comes to those estate sales. So I'm going to try to do that this weekend and tack on anything else to this video. I did make it to uh, the estate. So <laughs> first off, you see some of my last vines spread out. I'm trying to get them all organized. But I made it to the estate sale. I only picked up a few things. It was, yeah, it was not the best one. This is the monthly one that I go to. I try to go to every month. And um, I usually find some good things. This month was, eh, I don't know, if maybe I just wasn't in the mood. I had a lot I had to do today. And I still have more to do. But I want to film this so I can put this up. Anyway, I found some brass pieces. Um, no idea what they are. Um, there was these. Um, it has no way to attach it or anything. So, yeah, I don't know. And then there were four of these. The, the fourth one, I don't know, it was like the brass had been rubbed off and was weird. And so I didn't get it, which I don't know, may depreciate the value of all of them. I don't know. But there's some kind of another kind of framey type, a sketch anything. These do have holes in them so you can put screws or whatever, nails to attach them. Um, but I thought they would make neat little frames for something. I'm not sure. Um, and the rest that I got was the one thing I said I really didn't need it and that's books the only thing I really wanted to get was ledgers and I didn't find a single well I did find like one but it was like a blank one with no markings no no anything just some line pages no numbers no nothing I do wish I had gotten it but it's okay maybe it'll be there next month <laughs> so let me show you the books I did get um and I try to show them in the order I thought I had them picked out but that may not work. Let's let's see. So first off, I got Birds of the World. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to figure. I think I just have too many things on my desk, y'all. I apologize. Um, Birds of the World. This I don't. It looks like it's probably from the '80s, um, 1973. So and it seriously is just pictures of birds <laughs> in little descriptions. It's not a whole lot. Mostly pictures. Um, and I thought they were kind of great. I know I just recently got another bird book. What I really want to find is a butterfly book. But for now, birds will do. Birds will do something else with wings. Oh, look what I did. I knocked all that over. Okay. What else did I get? I got this is a Hebrew English English Hebrew dictionary. So it's a translation dictionary that um, I thought was kind of neat, which is funny because I've got one or two Hebrew books that y'all I am such a mess oh my gosh I'm so sorry I'm trying to move things out of the way a little bit and all I'm doing is knocking them in other places oh <sighs> okay if I had a little more patience I would have cleaned all of this up first <laughs> okay so this um do I have it upside down no um do I'm not seeing yeah, all the numbers are going to be in Hebrew, I think. Where's the, the section for that's English Hebrew? 
I don't know. <laughs> I don't I don't know. Um and anyway, it's Hebrew, so it's got the really neat characters in it. Um so I thought that was kind of awesome. Uh, in a similar vein, actually, let me see. <laughs> let me pull up. In a similar vein, I found a, a school dictionary for English to Turkish. <laughs> um so yeah it also is and this one is much i don't know it's got like those like old um 1948 so it's i think it's really neat and it's it's huge y'all look how big this is is really big so i just thought it would be kind of neat so i got so that's two foreign language and a third. This is an invitation to Spanish. I do not know why there is a rooster on it. And it has some writing in it. I'm trying to see. 1943. It's, yeah, it's definitely got some writing in it where somebody was learning Spanish. The pages are neat. I couldn't help it. Everything I got was a dollar. So, all right, the last two books. Have I already shown you three books? Yes. Okay. Let's <laughs> see books. This one is Tom Sawyer, but it's by Samuel Clemens. Y'all not Mark Twain. There was also a Huck Finn. It did not, the book was different than this one, so I know it wasn't part of a series, but it also said Clemens on it instead of Mark Twain. So I thought that was interesting. I cannot find a date on it. Um, I don't think I did. No, it just says manufacture in the United States of America. Um, oh, this is, well, no, that's the preface by Samuel Clemens. But then it just starts. So, um, and again, it's those older kind of, uh, papers that are like absorbent and it's not in great condition so um, oh and it came with a bookmark already <laughs> just a piece of cord somebody had stuck in here a piece of I don't know so I think it's super cool I can't decide what I'm gonna do with it and then this one y'all I didn't know I thought it was like those cookbooks that are wound up but it's start month day by day 1954 and somebody's it's somebody's day planner um and I don't know if I can find it or not there was a page in here that made me laugh out loud while I was standing there I'm trying to see if I can find it uh, it had uh, it just said screwdrivers um, on it and then it had that screwdrivers or vodka and orange juice and I thought that was so funny like it was a date to go try screwdrivers and um, it, it looks like most of this did not get here it is uh, February 7th screwdrivers vodka and orange juice at noon 11 to 11 p.m. <laughs> so that's, well, that's 11 hours of drinking <laughs> Oh, goodness. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but it was also the winter carnival, apparently. So, anyway, I just thought this was super cute. I think it would be neat to have it as, like, something I've seen uh, Tiffany of Southern Gals Designs use different books as, like, uh, brush wipe-off books or extra paint books or something like that. And it might be interesting for something like that. And it was a dollar, so... But that screwdriver comment, I was like, I have to get it. And it's got the, the neat pictures from, what did I say, 1954 from Dartmouth. So, um, anyway, that is it for that. If there's anything else, I will tack it on. One or two quick things before we finish out this video. First, you may have already seen this on Instagram, but I decided the other day, I've got little jars of things I found in the yard. Um... What if I got like snail shells and cicada bodies and little twigs and dandelion fluff and all kinds of stuff that I put in little jars? And I thought, realized the other day that where I have it is not the most secure place. And if I had some kind of little curio, that would be perfect. So I was pulled a day or two later to the Goodwill where I found this for $10. Y'all, it's got a front door that opens. Hi, you can see me, my camera. Um, these little glass shelves. Um... It is not really my style, and apparently it doesn't like to cl Oh, I didn't get the mirror back in there very well. Um, well. This has to be done. 
very okay um i don't really care for the mirror back there and this coloring is not really my thing so i think i'm going to like tape this off and spray paint it um a friend of mine suggested maybe sanding it i'm thinking on that i think i'd feel better about just spray painting the whole thing but i, I can't quite decide and that's what i was asking on instagram was if anybody had any ideas about transforming this so if you've got some let me know um you know, I'm not completely opposed to keeping the mirror, but I kind of, it doesn't feel like me. I love the glass. I love the style. This has already fallen off, so that's fine. Um, I don't think this is like great wood or anything. So, I love some ideas. I got it for 10 bucks at Goodwill. It's exactly what I needed. It's just not colors that I would use. It does have hanging hooks in the back. Let me see, it's got these open windows in the side, and then um these sit for hanging in the back so there was that um i needed so besides that um there was another day i needed to waste a little time before i headed home because anyway it was a whole thing um so i ran into um uh, it's a charity shop that i don't know sometimes they have a, a good supply of like things at good prices i've gotten a lot of like lace and craft supplies there but i found this memento do drop um thing it was a dollar for these four pa stamp pads in you know kind of neutral colors olive grove uh, espresso truffle pistachio and northern pine so i for a buck i was like yeah it's mine so that's gonna finish out this thrifty thursday haul I hope you've liked some of the things I found and the deals. Um, I definitely had quite a few good good things I have found. A few regrets of things I didn't get, but that's okay. Um, I will look again for more of those things and inspired. And I'm trying to back off a little bit on thrifting. I have so many things. If you've watched some of my other Thrifty Thursday videos, you know I've got all kinds of stuff. And at this point, I feel like I need to start either using some of these things or selling them. So yeah we'll see how the thrifty thursdays go you can say i've, I've kind of not even doing them weekly anymore because i'm slowly like backing off but i will definitely post when i find some good things it just may not be as often so if you like this make sure you give me a thumbs up hit that subscribe button if you have any questions or comments or suggestions especially about this thing what can i do with it ideas ideas let me know all right guys that's it i will talk to y'all later thank you so much for spending this time with me bye